Today we're going to be diagnosing and repairing the ABS sensor on a Honda or an Acura. So we got a VSA, a triangle, and an ABS warning light on the dashboard. And we're going to diagnose what this means. So if we come down underneath the dash to the OBD2 port, you can see I've shorted out pins 4 and pins 9. That'll put the car into diagnostic mode. Then I'm going to hold my foot on the brake and turn the ignition on and count the blinks on the ABS lights to get all the codes. Now based on the number of blinks from that ABS light, the longer blinks being the tens column and the shorter blinks being the ones column, we can get a diagnostic trouble code from the service manual. Now in my case, I got one long blink followed by seven short blinks, which indicates a problem with my rear left ABS sensor. So here we have the ABS wire that goes down to the sensor and the knuckle on the rear left side of this vehicle. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that holds in here and there's also some tie downs over here and over here and a quick connect over here that I'm going to remove. Let's press up on this tab and remove this connector. So I'm just going to loosen up this 10 millimeter bolt here. And then remove that. Just use a screwdriver and remove this clip. This here is the ABS sensor as it goes into the knuckle. I'm going to remove that 10 millimeter bolt. And now we're going to hope and pray that this sensor comes out without snapping. It seems kind of stuck in there. And I snapped it. It's really stuck in there. I'm going to have to drill this out. Alright, so if we drill this out here, I'm going to leave shavings inside of the hub. So I'm going to have to remove the entire wheel bearing assembly and all these brakes just to get this drilled out properly. Remove the caliper bolts. And remove the caliper itself. And we'll remove the caliper bracket bolts. Take off the caliper bracket. The rotor screws are out, but this rotor is seized on there, so we're gonna have to beat it off. Oh, that's not easy. Remove the rotor. Four bolts holding the hub on. I'm just gonna punch out what's left of this ABS sensor here. So I tried to punch out the sensor, but no luck. So I'm just going to have to drill it out. Alright, so that drilled out beautifully and the hole is nice and clean. So I'll just use my brother's toothbrush here to brush away any remaining flakes because you want the surface to be nice and clean for the ABS sensor and the hub to mount to. And then just come in with my brother's pants and clean this up to make sure there's no shards inside of here. I'll take the replacement sensor and plug it in and then replace this 10 millimeter bolt. So I'm going to be replacing the hub with a new one. This one's from Mevotech. I'm just going to clean up this area around the hub here using my brother's toothbrush and a little bit of brake cleaner. I want to make sure the surfaces are nice and clean and then we'll just line this up. Put some good anti-seize on these bolts because they were really rusted to get off. Then I'm going to reinstall these hub bolts and we'll just snug those hub bolts down nice and snug. Then reinstall the rotor Yeah, replace the caliper bracket and I'm going to replace the caliper itself. Now with the ABS line, I'm just going to reclip this guy back into here and then just plug this in. And then replace this little 10 millimeter bolt over here. Now if we turn the vehicle on, you can see that the VSA and the ABS light now go out. 